All right, boys and girls, guess what? We have another guest player for Hangman. It's Joel. He's so excited about playing. He's trying to beat Nicole's score yesterday when she couldn't figure out what four. F-O-R. It was only three letters, right? Joel doesn't have three-letter words. It's four-letter words because he graduated college, and so he should be smarter. Emphasis on should be. Let's see. Not an English major is all I'm saying. All right, the first word, and, and I can't remember it. <laughs> That's why I pulled out the cards, the cards. One, two, three, four letters, boys and girls. Joel has to figure out four letters. Ready? I'm going to go with E. Ooh, good start. He's off to a good start, boys and girls. Two E's. And then that's when he lost it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, T. R. H. Oh. Already he's doing better than Nicole. That's why he's in such debt. <laughs> Here. Here is the first word. Come over here, right? Can you put your papers here? All right, ready? It's another four letter word. Okay. I'm gonna go with E again. Okay. A. He thought he had it. Did you see the face? I saw the face. He thought he had it. R. Hmm. S. <sighs> they all think they're so smart, but they're not smarter than the <laughs> kindergartner. I bet you guys have these words already. It's not a 24 hour hangman. No, it's not. Dude, I, know, gotta, I, know, I, know, I know. I know. I okay. know. Uh, P. That's an interesting choice. P. K. Where are you going? Apparently, oh. not the right way. <laughs> Nicole was yesterday, and then she figured out her word. Um, did Nicole have more letters than me? No. That was when she did four. H. N. See where you were going, but it's not the right way to go. T. Why? There you have it. That's your other word. They. T. Make it thicker so you can see it. H. E. Y. T. H. E. Y. He's not as smart as Nicole. She didn't get the I yesterday. She only had the person. You know. But he tried, right? That's the most important part. <laughs> Boys and girls, let's give Joel a big round of applause for helping out with Slate Word Hangman. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, you can you can scooch a mooch. <laughs> scooch a mooch. We're in the attic, so he he has to watch his head. He already hit his head. All right, so today's words are they and here, and I'll try one in a sentence. What if we put a word in between? They. blank here. Hmm. There's a couple of our sight words that we could use in there. Or at least one. Right? Hmm. Let's see if you can figure out what this sight word is. It's four letters. Hmm. 
Let me see. Did I hear the letter A? Good job. A. Oh, not, not an N. Nope. No can do. It's not an N. What do you think comes next? They blank here. Did I hear a C? Did I hear a C? Oh, C, A. Hmm. All right. Stop yelling. I can't hear how many of you and how many of me. Right. So not yelling so loud. You're hurting my ears. M. Good job. And what was the other letter? E. Excellent work, boys and girls. See, you did better than Joel and Nicole. They came here. Look at that. You guys are getting so many sight words. You can make whole sentences. I just dropped the lid to my marker when I was trying to put it back on. How about if we try ugh, another one? Can you get out your whiteboards, your markers, and your erasers? Okay. Take your time, because I have to set up my um, word bank. Ready? All right, here's my word bank. Hmm. Oh, you can't really see the red, so we won't use that again. Let's go to purple. Ooh, oh, wait, do you want to see? Let's see if the green works better. Ah! Okay, so my word bank has but. Stop laughing, you know it's not that but. Many. Now. And your. All right, are you guys ready? That's our word bank. But, many, now, your. Are you ready for the first sentence? Come. Here blank. Come here, but mm -mm. besides, it doesn't leave your body. Come here, many. Come here now. You think so? Okay. All right. Can you write that sentence on your whiteboard? Come here now. And I put an exclamation point, right? That's our punctuation that we're going to use. It's an exclamation point. So if I have an exclamation point at the end, how are we saying it? Are we saying it, come here now? Or are we saying, come here now? Right, we have to say it with emotion. That's what an exclamation point means. It means to say it with emotion. Don't forget your spacing while you're writing. Okay. I'm trying not to get in your way. Not you. Okay. Mr. Hedegar answered me. I was talking to you because I know you need to see the words. <laughs> and Mr. Hedegar said I wasn't in his way. Of course not in his way. He's all the way over there. Silly, silly man. Here is blank hat. All right, are you guys ready? If you're not ready, pause the video. If you are ready, we're going to move on to the next sentence. Next sentence is, here is blank hat. I knew you knew how to read it, Troy. Good job. You're awesome. All right. Here is butt hat. Stop laughing. DJ, Tommy, mm -mm, Matthew, I know you're laughing. Here is many hat. Here is your hat. Good job. Here is your hat. Excellent. Well, I'm trying to fix my R, but it, I think I'm just making it worse. And don't forget your punctuation. Just a period. Here's your hat. Make sure you wear it when you go out today. It's cold. 
Okay. Okay, are you guys ready for the next sentence? Once again, if you're not ready, I'm gonna go to the other side so oh, I can see you, you can see me, and we can read this sentence. Uh, if you're not ready, pause the video, finish your sentence, and come back on, okay? All right, this sentence is about Addie's favorite thing she likes to write about. Yes, it is. Addie, can you read our sentence for us? I made cookies. Blank, I ate them. Hmm, I made cookies, but I ate them? Or I made cookies many, I ate them? Yeah, good job, it's but. Many does fit, but it doesn't sound right, right? I, how about if we make the next sentence with the word many in it? If we use the same sentence, I know you're writing. Take your time. Don't forget your spacing. I bet Teresa wishes she could pause some days when she's trying to write or trying to see at home. Right, Teresa? Do you think sometimes want to push the pause button so you can catch up before we move on? Okay. Once again, if you haven't finished writing, that's okay. Just push the pause button. Jolene, stop drawing on your board. Olivia, that goes for you too. Let's write this sentence. You can draw on your board when we're done, okay? All right. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the next sentence. And the first sentence said, I made cookies. Hmm, I made blank cookies. What word did we have left, boys and girls? Mm, any, many, many. I made many cookies, good job. Mm. My spacing, not very good in there. See, that's what I'm talking about in school when I say watch your spacing, because right now it looks like I made mini cookie. I don't know what that is. Do you know what a mini cookie is? Me either. Gotta watch your spacing, right? So what if I fix it? I made that better? Many cookies. Then see with the space you know that they are two words, two separate words. And I know what many cookies means. That means you made a lot, Addie. And if you ate them all without sharing them with your brother and your mommy and daddy, you're in trouble. But I don't know what a mini cookie was. It doesn't sound good because, you know, it doesn't have the word chocolate in it. So mm, not happening. All right, boys and girls. If you're still writing your sentence, make sure to take your time and use your spaces. Don't forget your punctuation. How about if we make this one an exclamation point? I made many cookies. And hopefully you shared them, okay? When you are finished here, you do have an IXL assignment to do. It is for the question words. We talked about them in school. The question words are what, when, who, where, and how, right? Hold on. Oh, oh, the green isn't really coming off too well, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe that's why we stopped using it. But 
it shows up beautifully. Oh, well, I hope you pop. Well, you can always rewind. All right. Sorry, guys. All right. So, what you need to remember about those sight words that you're going to be working with is what. Remember, they're question words. So, I'm always looking for information. What is in the box? What time are we going? What state is it in? You're always looking for information. When is also a time. When are we going? Like what time? When as in a clock, right? Okay. This is the box, right? What was in the box from Amazon that got delivered today? Was it a present for me? Hmm? What? When? Where? That's a place, right? You use where when you're, I, I'm sorry moms and dads, but this is how I draw the United States, so I apologize to you in advance. So where, like where in the United States are you going? Where is mommy going grocery shopping? That's always a place. What, when, where, who? Right, that's always gonna be a person. Who's coming over? Who did she make all those cookies for? Who said they could eat them all? You know it wasn't mommy. Okay, what and why? Mm. Why did you eat all those cookies? Now you don't feel well. Right? Look at my slant I have going on here. <laughs> all right, boys and girls. Have fun on IXL. See you in a little bit.